efforts expended in the work of the Lord warrant our looking for certain results, but to our dismay they do not appear. Why this vain toil we may ask ourselves? To think it could be possible for us to toil all night and to go unblessed. Reflecting on that word of Peter, Master, we toiled all night, but took nothing. <coughs> but it is useless to argue here. The fact has simply to be faced that God has withheld his blessing. In human affairs, we reason from cause to effect. But all our reasonings are irrelevant in the realm of divine favor. In that realm, God is the cause, and he alone. But at thy word, I will let down the net. This is a kind of faith that avails in his service. <coughs> As Joseph said, at his word, to obtain his word. It trusts him to bless us beyond all our deserts, provided our expectation is in him alone. I believe we shall see blessings on all our future ways. The favor of the Lord resting on one life may mean the salvation of 50 lives. It may mean the consecration to him of a 100 lives. God's blessing has momentous results. Let us expect the supernatural. Let us look to God 